is what he would like, but the direction that he has is enormous. Is there anything from a previous production of Tosca that, that you've taken part in that you brought to this one? Yes, there are many little things. I mean, the, uh, our last production was recreated, in a sense, by Tito Gobbi, and uh, I just got goosebumps, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, his direction was so great, he understood the part so well that there are many small details which he and I talked about that I still use. They don't, they're not against anything that Franco wants. They're just part of a, of, a, of a characterization which I think adds to it. So in other words, Mr. Domingo, there's a certain amount of freedom, is there, when you take on a production like this. You can still, within the limit set by the director, put your own personality into the characterization. Sure, but there are, there are many things and they are not uh, written in the score. And uh, when uh, we start the rehearsals, uh, Franco and me, we agree completely. I mean, I have always performed, or at least, let's say, not always, for, but for about my 25th performance of Tosca on, I have always performed with the idea that Cavaradossi knows perfectly well that he's going to be dead. And uh, I think the relation with Tosca also, uh, I think you have to take in consideration also, besides the fact that she's a very, she's a very naive girl in a way, and very simple girl, but has the grandeur of the opera singer. And little details, she tends to act then. So that's the reason Cavaradossi forgives this uh, incredible woman because her jealousy is also connected with her uh, character as a prima donna. So she has to overact something a little bit. Even in the description of the way she kills Scarpia is a whole thing that Puccini wrote, you know, rather than say, it, you know, I mean, he was trying really to make love to me. I took a knife and I killed him. You know, she has to explain us all the thing, you know, rullavano i tamburi, rideva l'empiomosso, rideva. He was laughing, saying, you are mine. You, are, you know, she's very theatrical in every point. So her jealousy in the first act is full of theater. So I think that the, all these things, I mean, um, a production, talking about a production, you know, I uh, just, uh, Mac just mentioned now the old production. In 1960. Eight, my first season at the Met, it was the new Tosca done by um, Birgit Nilsson, uh, Franco Corelli, and uh, Gabriel Bacchier. It was uh, Schenk, Otto Schenk doing the rehearsals. And I was covering the performance, and after I was just doing uh, performances. But because those were some days that Franco wasn't coming too much to the rehearsals, I did every rehearsal from the very beginning of that production until some of the performances that Mac and me now we were doing on tour now of the all mm -hmm. production. So in since '68 now, you see in 16, 17 years, you know, you have seen one production just born, do an enormous amount of performances with all the sopranos, all the tenors, all the baritones, and everybody, then the Metropolitan Can Ensemble and great conductors. And now we have a new Tosca. So it's a very thrilling event, you know, for me to, to live, to survive that production of Tosca and to be you did in better this than that. fantastic <laughs> one. I mean, let's see surviving time, you know, that yes, we are I still understand. singing. So that's wonderful. <laughs> well, it shows you that those operas can be renewed all the time, doesn't it? A Absolutely. Even though I, I happen to, I think, I'm sure that this production is a production that the Met is going to be proud of it for 25 years. I